Understanding the phrase, grilled to a char. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, grilled to a char. This phrase is a colorful way to describe something in English, and it's packed with vivid imagery. Whether you're a language learner or just curious about English expressions, you're in the right place to expand your vocabulary and understanding. Let's get started. Grilled to a char is an idiomatic expression used to describe food that has been cooked for too long or at too high a temperature, resulting in it becoming overly burnt or charred. This phrase is often used in a negative sense, implying that the food is almost inedible due to the extent of burning. However, it can also be used humorously or lightly to describe a minor cooking mishap. Let's break down the phrase. Grilled refers to a method of cooking that involves direct heat. Imagine a barbecue grill where food is cooked on an open wire grid. To it indicates the extent or degree to which the action, in this case, grilling, is performed. Char is a term used to describe blackened or burnt material, especially food. It comes from the word charcoal, which is used in grilling. So, putting it all together, grilled to a char, means to grill something until it becomes burnt or blackened like charcoal. This phrase can be used in various contexts. Literally in cooking, I left the burgers on the grill too long, and they were grilled to a char. Figuratively in other situations, for example, describing a project or task that was overdone or excessively worked on to the point of ruin. There are other expressions in English that convey similar meanings, such as burnt to a crisp, this also means to overcook something until it's excessively burnt. Overdone, a more general term for anything that's been done too much, not just in cooking. And that's a wrap on the phrase, grilled to a char. We hope this video has shed light on this interesting English expression and added a new phrase to your vocabulary arsenal. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language learning content. Until next time, Keep practicing and exploring the richness of the English language.